The story is told in the Northeast of a famous attorney who had an alcohol problem and he's very successful and on the way every day to his law practice, he would walk on the streets of Chicago past a bar and he would slip in for a morning drink and then go on to his office and he did it every day. One day as he was walking, the snow was lightly falling. He heard a noise and turned around and he saw his little six-year-old boy. Somehow he had slipped away from his mother and slipped out of the house. And, and when he looked, the little boy was putting his little foot in the big footprint of his dad. The dad had left that footprint in the freshly fallen snow. And the little boy would put his little foot in the footprint of the big steps that his dad was taking. And suddenly, as he was standing outside the door of that bar, and he looked back and saw that that boy was stepping in every one of his footsteps, and he was smitten with conviction, and he ran and scooped the boy up and took him home and put him in the arms of his mother and ran downstairs, and he says he fell to his knees, and he began to weep and cry, and he said, Oh God, help me to never, ever again allow my footsteps to lead my children to a bar but let my footsteps lead my children to you. Where are your footprints leading? And I want to say that it's important that we understand the impact that we have on our children and our children's children. The attack in the 21st century is upon the home. We have got to understand that the values that we cherish and the ideas that we hold dear are worth fighting for. Because if you have any looseness in your commitment to God or to your family, the enemy will move in and divide and conquer. God said, if you will fight for your family to Nehemiah and that people, and he said, if you'll fight for your house, fight for your family, then God will fight for you. Stay in their business and stay in their lives. And when you have to stand up and correct them, correct them. If, if, if it hinders and hurts and you have all kinds of stuff going on, stand for what's right. Fight for what's right. Stand on the truth. If you have raised them right, if you have raised them in the house, you don't have to be a perfect family. But if you've done your best to, to bring them to the house of God and to serve the Lord before them and you've done your best to have God's presence in your home and in your life, there's something that gets on your family that they will never be ever, ever, ever be able to get away from. Every time we get up and bring them to church, every time we open the Bible and pray, we're fighting for our families. It's not easy to raise children in the times in which we live. Everything seems to be against the family and against the home. But when we decide that our families are a cause worth fighting for, God said, then I will fight for you.